Political reporter Chris Ty joins us now live here on the floor of the United Center. Chris, we want to talk, start with this bizarre incident involving the Indiana delegation and unfortunately something that happened with their food. Yeah, this is a really bizarre story, Joe and Erica. Apparently this morning, according to authorities, they've confirmed to CBS News Chicago that two women were seen leaving as part of the Fairmont Hotel where the Indiana delegation was having their delegates breakfast. These women apparently, allegedly, let go several insects. Uh, we are told crickets possibly into the buffet display where they were having this delegation breakfast this morning. One person was treated and released for very minor injuries Things are back to normal. The folks from the Indiana delegation, which is just behind us here, not wanting to talk about it tonight, but on the whole, everything else is okay. Want to walk you through another couple things that we're looking at here tonight. Oprah Winfrey, of course, making news in the last two hours as we've learned that she is going to be speaking here at the United Center. This was a late add to this night three menu of affairs. Oprah Winfrey, of course, not often dipping her toe into the political waters, but she knows this building very well. The United Center is where she had her final show recorded. Also here tonight, and we saw this a little earlier today, John Legend was practicing on stage. He will be part of the entertainment tonight. He's going to be part of a very, uh, I'll tell you, there's a number of stars that are embedded in that performance, and you'll see that here on stage in a little bit in prime time. Stevie Wonder, also part of the festivities tonight. He was a key instrument in today's preparations as they were getting things ready to go. And then earlier today, Tim Walls, the governor from Minnesota, who's going to, of course, be the centerpiece of tonight's presentation, kind of his first foray into telling his story in a fully-throated way, a name that most Americans Americans did not know until about four weeks ago. He, of course, the person who made the Trump walls ticket as weird, kind of bringing that to the fore. We expect to hear that from uh, the governor tonight. We've already heard it from a couple of people who were on the dais tonight, kind of invoking that weird uh, correlation between uh, Trump and Vance. Guys, let's send it back up to you where we are uh, just getting ready to get this evening going into high gear. Chris, thanks very much.